All right, from this video, we are going to remove the door panel on our 2006 Honda Accord. Okay, so we're, this is kind of a general video to um, just show how to get the door panel off so you can access all the various stuff that's underneath the door panel. Um, I mean, you might have a blown out speaker, um, you might need to access the cable for the um, the handle to open the door, or take replace your master switch, do work on the window, window motor might be dead. Those kind of things are all related to door panel removal. Uh, anyways, so uh, it's pretty simple actually. Um, the only tools that we're going to use are going to be the, a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a plastic pry tool so that we don't damage any of the plastic. Um, so, uh, let's see, you can, it's not a, for, there's not a necessary order to some of this stuff. One thing is just popping out this trim piece so that you can lift the panel up. It's just held in with a clip, a metal clip. It's pretty easy. So you can set that aside. Uh, there were some covers, but they're missing, uh, over the screws, uh, where the handle is. And with those, you just... Go in with your screwdriver and take them out. Alright. Okay, and then another thing you need to get out of the way is there's just a little rubber mat down here and it just sets right in. No, nothing holding it down, no screws or anything, but it does cover a screw that you need to access. Another Phillips screw. Okay, so we got that one out. And then you need to get your switch out so you can disconnect it could maybe possibly disconnect it once you take the panel off, but it's just easier to take it out first. Let's see. Prying it out can be a little interesting, but uh, if you got the plastic tool and you don't, uh, then you won't mar it up while you're trying to pry it out. Okay, so just... There we go. All right, so then we're gonna disconnect the switches. There's one, oop. There we go. There's one for the window switches and one for the mirror. There we go, we'll set that aside. We can just tuck those in there. And then at this point, you just need to pry it off. Uh, so there's plastic clips that are holding it in to the door ar around the side, around the edges. And let's see, just find a spot to pry it out and use the tool. There we go. There we go. All right, so all the clips are popped out. Then you just lift it up. And then, once you're in here, oh look, it's already disconnected. <laughs> There's actually a plastic clip. Can we see that in there? There's a plastic clip that hooks onto the cable that operates the latch for the door. You just gotta unclip that. And then, there's also gonna be the wire to the little, I guess you call it like an auxiliary light. And then there's a clip holding it in, which you can basically pull it out of there. Hopefully it doesn't break. Then you got your door panel free. All right. So what we actually wanted to do is uh, the door glass was coming loose and uh, so what it was doing is it was kind of rocking around and making popping noises when you would hit the switch up and down. And so 
Um, to get to the glass, let's see, we're just gonna peel back this plastic cover. And this piece is in the way, so this is a support piece of the door panel. Just make sure you take note of which way it goes back in, because you can also put it in upside down and not realize it. Okay. And then, oh, then there's this plug. There's the, as you can see, there's a couple of plugs. Most of this is just held in with the, the gooey stuff. All right. Okay. So we'll just carefully peel this back. And then the trick here is you gotta hook your switch back in. You gotta plug it back in so you can move the uh, window to where you need it. All right. So you can see there's these two access holes here. They don't look like much, but when you need to get to your window glass bolts, there they are. So. This one, we're just, we went in and, uh, I don't know, we don't need the tool. But right here, if your glass is coming loose, you can uh, re-snug those bolts, and then that'll take care of uh, some of the noises and uh, problems that you might run into. Because over time, they'll just get loose. Uh, it just happens. Um, or somebody that put it back together might not torque them properly. <laughs> That's another possibility. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then here's your cable if you need to replace the cable um, and the uh, let's see what the motor for the window is bolted in there so yeah you got access to all kinds of stuff in here anything else <laughs> I don't think we have any other problems at this time okay so we're just gonna put it all back and plug it again uh, oh you know what I need to put the window down. That's what I need to do. Yeah, there you go. All right, make sure you feed the cable back through the cover. You need that. <laughs> there we go. Trying to line up the holes for the screws, get it back the way it was. It's not an exact science because it's just held in by this gooey stuff. I think I forget what they even call this. And then you can use the pry tool. I think that'll work now. Or you can just peel it out of there. to come out. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Pry tool is useful. Okay, so I just want to clip that back in. There we go. Alright, that should be good. Alright, then we got to put our support bracket back in. Get both screws started and snug them down. Okay, so if this piece of trim pops out on you like ours did, uh, these notches go in and then it just drops on to the, the door. I think that's right. Yeah. And then it'll kind of be secured in place by the door panel. There we go. All right. Actually, just to be safe, let's see what happens when you roll the window up and down. There we go. So it clears. 
It's all good. Okay, so now we gotta put the panel back on. Mm -hmm. Just don't forget to hook stuff up. Gotta put your light back in. Clip it into the hole there. Then we gotta hook up our cable for the lock. You can use like a little small plier or something to free the clip. Or you might be able to just do it with your fingers, but this one seems to be a little bit stubborn. Is this thing gonna work for me? Or maybe this time my fingers will work better. I don't know. There we go. So, you see that just clips on there so when you're putting it back you just drop it into the hole there and just press it on and that's it then put the cable back into the slot listen for it to snap in and you can put your door panel back on just gotta get it up and over the door lock there we go let's see and get it to drop in all right, once you put this plastic door panel back on, make sure to pull out the wiring harness so that you could put it back with the power window switch right here. This is gonna be in the front. This is gonna be in the back. And then you're gonna go ahead and press it back in. All right, make sure to, you want to hit all around the trim right here so that it snapped back. This is held on by clips. And then you want to go around here as well. And then you want to put back the screw using your Phillips screwdriver. And then you got two more right here as well. And then you want to put this plastic trim back on as well. There you go. And then you want to put the plastic piece back in. Uh, this one is missing, so if you have it, go ahead and put it back in. And then the last part is you want to reset your power switch, and that's it.